Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eochon Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024. And what I've decided to do for the remainder of this week is just let the Old Testament readings speak for themselves. There are many spiritual gems that can be pulled from each of those readings. And so I invite you to listen to them being read, pray over them. And if you have any thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and we can discuss them as the week progresses. So this is the last week of Lent. Next week begins Holy Week. So I pray that God will give you good strength and give you the guidance that we all need in this day and age to make good decisions that are pleasing to our God. So read those texts as you see them on the screen, and may they benefit to you and to those that you love. Have a great day. God bless you. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 43, verses 26 to 31, and chapter 45, verses 1 through 16. When Joseph came home, they brought into the house to him the present which they had with them, and bowed down to him to the ground. And he inquired about their welfare, and said, Is your father well? The old man of whom you spoke, is he still alive? They said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. And they bowed their heads and made obeisance. And he lifted up his eyes, and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your youngest brother, of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. Then Joseph made haste, for his heart yearned for his brother, and he sought a place to weep. And he entered his chamber and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out. Controlling himself, he said, Let food be served. Then Joseph could not control himself before all those who stood by him. And he cried, Make everyone go out from me. So no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud so that the Egyptians heard it, and the household of Pharaoh heard it. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed at his presence. So Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am your brother, Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves, because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are yet five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant on earth, and to keep alive for you many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but God, and he has made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Make haste, and go up to my father, and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not tarry, and you shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me, you and your children, and your children's children, and your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. And there I will provide for you, for there are yet five years of famine to come, lest you and your household and all that you have come to poverty. And now your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin see, that it is my mouth that speaks to you. You must tell my father of all my splendor in Egypt, and of all that you have seen. Make haste, and bring my father down here. Then he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck, and he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them, and after that his brothers talked with him. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come, it pleased Pharaoh and his servants well. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 23, through chapter 22, verse 4. 
He who keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Scoffer is the name of the proud, haughty man who acts with arrogant pride. The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long the wicked covets, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. A wicked man puts on a bold face, but an upright man considers his ways. No wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 1 through 11. Thus says the Lord, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, declare to my people their transgression, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight to draw near to God. Why have we fasted, and thou seest it not? Why have we humbled ourselves, and thou takest no knowledge of it? Behold, in the day of your fast you seek your own pleasure and oppress all your workers. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with wicked fist. Fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose, a day for a man to humble himself? Is it to bow down his head like a rush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will you call this a fast, and a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover him, and not to hide yourself from your own flesh. Then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer, you shall cry, and he will say, here I am. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, the pointing of the finger, and speaking wickedness, if you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday. And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire with good things and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters fail not. <laughs>